Once again, this is Chip Inner Larry Gubatayong. Welcome back to our channel, to our Laksonian Future Engineers. At saka sa ating kabaro in line of profession. In this video, you will learn regarding about the starting of the main engine as well its operation. Okay, we will proceed now in our virtual engine room simulators. So, nakita nyo, no? Ang uli nating uh, scenario ay pinatakbo natin ang ating auxiliary boiler. So, ang ating, uh, sa, ni-remind ko lang, ang ating auxiliary boiler, it is a generate steam required of the vessel for the fuel heaters, the fuel tanks, the fuel tanks, separators, and also in sanitary. So, take note, our uh, exhaust dust economizer ay hindi pa tumatakbo sa ating heat recovery exchanger. So, malaman natin yan once na mapatakbo na natin ang ating main engine. So, take note, ang ating uh, steam nag-generate siya, balik siya sa ating uh, condenser. Then, this steam will be condensed and will return back to the cassette dung. After that, uh, suctioning siya ng feed pump, then it will introduce going to the boiler then it, this uh, uh, water will be evaporated with the uh, raising of the pressure as well the temperature and will create a boiling point until it reaches to the highest temperature and it will create steam no, required for the vessel Okay, uh, before starting of the main engine, okay, dito tayo sa ating main engine, no? Before starting, we have to uh, comply first the requirements of the system, no? So, first, we proceed here in the fuel oil system. So, dapat na meron tayong fuel oil system, no? Kung tingnan natin sa ating uh, fuel oil diagram, no? Ang ating uh, heavy fuel oil service tank ay uno. So, ito siya, no? may linyada at pupunta siya ng uh, supply pump, circulating pump, then uh, pupunta siya ng uh, heater, ito bypass, at uh, merong uh, pipe mess filter, then it will pass here in the viscosimeter, then it will go to the main engine fuel oil inject injection pump if there is a 7-cylinder. Then after that, ang um, fuel, it will return back to the fuel uh, air separator no and the fuel will return back to the heavy fuel oil service tank so yan ang ating uh, fuel oil system so kailangan na patakbuin natin ang supply pump at ganoon din ang circulating pump dahil bukas na dito ang ating barbula no sa ating bypass na fuel oil heater so ito na ang fuel oil supply pump so start natin ang number 1 then put only in standby number 2 no pwede din natin na uh, no okay standby siya after that fuel oil circulating pump I start natin ang number 1 then put and standby no so in case of malfunction of other pumps this uh, uh, other fuel oil, oil supply pump say for example the number 2 will take over no will supply and pumps the fuel oil going to the main engine. So, balik tayo sa ating fuel oil storage. So, nakita nyo, no? At least, uh, umilaw siya ang ating uh, supply pump. Ganun din ang ating circulating pump. So, next, uh, dahil may fuel na tayo, balik tayo sa ating cooling system. So, sa cooling system natin, sa ating uh, diagram, bukas na din ang ating seawater, no? Low suction. Then, it will pass here, no? Nakita nyo ang linyada. So, may 3-way valve siya. At uh, pwede siya pumunta sa, ano, sa bumba ng ating main engine cooling si water. Then, it will pass to no, main engine lobe oil cooler or fresh water cooler. At ang iba ay pumunta sa air cooler. After that, the sea water will discharge to the overboard. No? So, anong purpose ng 3-way valve or thermostatic valve in case of... Uh, high temperature no the seawater high temperature will go to or overboard discharge to the ocean while the maintained temperature will circulate going to the seawater pump and will go to the coolers as well the freshwater coolers and air coolers no so 
Okay, at uh, may cooling water system na tayo. Dito naman tayo sa ating one of the system is also lube oil system. So sa lube oil system natin, at is uh, no, sa ating uh, lube oil storage tank dito ay at least uh, may laman na dito siya at uh, kinakarga natin hanggat mapuno. Okay? At uh, papunta sa ating sump tank, nakita natin na at least ang level niya no, medyo kulang pa. No? Dagdagan natin konti. Halimbawa, dito sa ating uh, lube oil storage. Okay? Papunta ng sump tank. So, nakita natin ang uh, no ang level ay umaangat no okay so sarado na natin balik okay okay at uh, sunod at uh, dahil nga may ano na tayo uh, lube well system di balik naman tayo sa ating tawag na compressor no air diagram system so nakaraan napatakbo na natin lahat ang ating compressor at bukas na ang mga barbula supply sa ating no uh, what we call the safety devices bukas na siya at uh, bubuksan na din natin ang papuntang main starting at saka slow turning at saka main engine starting valve no uh, going to also to to the air distributor so sa air reservoir tank take note na during a round of inspection uh, you have to drain regularly no uh, water content no to avoid the uh, moisture inside the uh, what you call the air receiver and to avoid the uh, no in case of starting uh, this uh, if there is a water content there is possibility that the engine will not start easily okay at uh, dito din sa ating emergency generator kailangan i-drain din siya okay at least uh, may air system na tayo balik tayo sa ating uh, power plant. So, sa ating power plant system, at least uh, may dalawa tayong uh, diesel generator na umandar siya, no? At ang ating emergency generator ay uh, nasa automatic in case of blackout. This emergency generator will take over, no? For the restoration of the power. So, okay. At uh, balik na tayo sa ating main engine. Dahil nakompleto na natin. So, sa ating main engine, during a uh, preparation of the main engine during one hour notice that from the bridge from the deck officer in charge by the command of the master then we have to also to prepare the main engine the different kind of system then after that we have to turn the engine by opening the disc cup of the seventh cylinder of the main engine then after that we are going to no, uh, engage the turning gear. So, yan. Naka-engage na siya. At uh, sunod, kailangan na i either ahead or aster natin for at least 30 minutes. No? So, after that, uh, dahil nag-turn na siya, pwede na natin sirado ang tiskak. No? Kailangan na pandarin na natin ang main engine. So, okay. At uh, at least na may cooling water na tayo. May press water na tayo. Cooling. At saka lube oil for lubrication. Samtang at saka sa ating uh, no for air starting so this engine will start either by the engine side control or bridge control so gawin natin sa bridge control no okay at this uh, pagtapos na ng ano natin no ng turning gear at least na sigurado natin na naka disengage no so take note uh, delikado no pag hindi natin na uh, disengage no may posibilidad na masira ang turning gear. Okay. At is, uh, sarado na ang tiskak. Balik na tayo sa ating uh, main engine, no? Sa kanyang panel board. Okay. At uh, i-double check natin ulit sa ating fuel oil system, sa ating control panel. At least may ano siya, no? Meron siya na supply pump. Tapos sa ating lubricating system. At uh, umandar na din, no? Okay, ang ating uh, tubuel pump, no? Kailangan na i-on natin at this lagay sa ating standby ang isa. Okay, next sa uh, ating uh, compressor at this uh, ready din siya. Umandar siya in case of uh, starting of the main engine. So, i-try natin na pandarin, okay, from the bridge control. So, the command of the deck officer in charge that before uh, 
starting there is what they call the testing of the main engine no and ahead also and astern as well the testing of the what they call the steering gear so okay sa steering gear no itlagay din natin sa remote position okay na sa remote siya no so kailangan yan na para sa ating magpandar ng makina okay balik tayo sa ating main engine okay from bridge control then the bridge control will put also in uh, on position pump operation no and other one is in the standby okay uh, isa na kaon siya no okay at uh, this uh, uh, normal na siya so next kailangan na uh, during starting of the main engine you have to put the auxiliary boiler in on position After that, we will try to start the engine in the bridge control. Okay, there is a command of dead slow. Then, accept to the engine. Okay, we have to start the engine. Okay. at uh, nag-increase ang RPM okay. at uh, wag natin muna na i-command sa slow na command no? sa slow, kailangan muna natin umasarmahan kasi kung bakit merong tawag na critical uh, speed as well the torsional vibration okay uh, then a few minutes, then we have to command again slow then we have to increase the handle nuts Okay, then after observation, we can notice the RPM is in the near the critical speed or what they call the, the torsional speed. So, kailangan natin na buhilo muna ang ating uh, makina no? at uh, ganoon din ang ating barko. So, next, come on, in half position and accept the engine side to increase the RPM. Okay, at uh, umangat, no? Mataas ang ating RPM. So, nasa half na tayo, no? Ang command. Okay, at uh, for the few minutes, uh, intayin din natin ulit. At uh, huwag natin biglain. Okay, no? Nakita natin ang RPM. At least, uh, nasa 70 RPM. So, take note of uh, running of the main engine, no? There is what they call the C-speed and as well the economical speed, no? Uh, ang RPM medyo mababa lang pero ang purpose niya to conserve uh, fuel oil consumption for how many days of sailing no okay uh, after that put in the pool and we have to increase again the null nuts so dandana no say baka alarman tayo okay uh, yan lang no at least uh, na pa ano natin ang RPM sa pool next sa uh, ang next na command either we have to put in air navigation okay then we have to increase the RPM no that's the time uh, this is what they call the start of propelling no okay Okay, at uh, nakita natin at uh, ma-increase na din ang ating main engine. So, that's it. How to start the main engine, no?